All right, so let's take a look at our other descent control devices. We've got several that we'll go through. Um, they all serve roughly the same purpose. Uh, they're uh, the ones that we don't use on a regular basis in our particular kits, but uh, we should take a look at them anyway. They're pretty common, ubiquitous throughout the industry. Um, these are the kind of thing that we can use for to add friction in order to lower a, pa a package. All the descent control devices we'll show you are good for rescue size loads, so two people and equipment. Um, these are the kind of thing that we would generally use in a two rope system where we have one main line and one belay line and we'll use these on the main line to lower with. These devices can lower. Uh, we can't belay or raise with them. They're only good for lowering. So let's look at our first one. This thing's called the Scarab. Um, one of our products here. Uh, and so the way this thing will get set up is I'll clip it into my anchor right here. Like so. I'll take my main line and find my load strand out there and I'll take a bite and pull it up through the body of the scarab here and then use that bite to trap that bar down in place with my load strand coming out the bottom of the device facing my load. And then I can run my rope up and down through this thing. And then the scarab here, I can add and reduce friction really, really easily by taking my brake strand here and wrapping horns, right? So I'll come downhill towards my load first and that can be horn number one and then wrap this one for horn number two, that's more friction yet. Wrap horn number three down here, that's more friction still, and then wrap horn number four here, that's the most friction. So with two person loads, I tend to be in this three or four horn configuration, and with one person loads, I'll tend to be in this one to two horn configuration. Something in here. Again, more friction, more friction, more friction to max friction. Great, so now I've got a load over the edge that I can actually lower. And so you can see that I can have this on my second horn and I can adjust my friction, right? I can have more friction in horn two, less friction in horn two, and feed rope through there nice and easy. If I need more friction, if I had a two person load, I could go here and feed rope through here. I don't have quite enough force for that. I can do less friction here and even less friction here. Super versatile, easy to uh, uh, reduce and uh, add friction on the fly with the scarab. If for some reason I need to leave this thing unattended to fix a problem or pass a knot, switch to a raise, then the way I can tie this thing off is full friction, so all four horns. And then I will take this device and wrap this rope under itself and capture that horn again. And then do that same thing one more time here. Wrap that, capturing the rope over itself each time around a, a horn like a boat cleat. That's tying the scarab off. So we're gonna look at the other form of dedicated DCD that we have, which is a brake rack. And we've got two of them and I'll show you, I'll rig one and then show you the second. So we've got this little micro brake rack here. Uh, it's got a bunch of tubes that we can use and we'll engage the tubes uh, more or less depending on how much friction I need. So I'll find my load strand here and feed that up through here. And then similar to the scarab, I'll capture that tube down in place. And then I will repeat that process, bring a bite up through here. And then again, swing this tube in place. And then capture that in place with the rope. And then my brake rack, we get clipped into the anchor like so. So my load strand's coming out the bottom there and I've captured these four bars, tubes. Okay. And the way then I can add and subtract friction easily on the fly with a small brake rack. And so this is kind of minimum amount of friction here. I can get more friction by coming down farther into brake position, which you can see kind of squeezes these tubes together and makes the bends and the rope a little sharper. And if I need more friction, I can encapture tube number five, bar number five more friction, more friction. I can capture bar number six, more friction, more friction down to here. We've got another brake rack here that's similar in concept, but slightly different in specifics. This brake rack will again get clipped into the anchor like so, with the rope rigged over, actually under this tube in this configuration and over this one and I can feed it through here by capturing these bars 
And uh, I generally will rig it with the first four, and then you can add five and six on the fly. This bigger J rack uh, tends to be a little trickier to add and subtract friction on the fly, but I have the same kind of bars four through six on my operating range. Let's look at lowering with the micro brake rack here. Great, so I've got my load over the edge now. I can start lowering with my brake rack here. So I've got most least friction here with four bars captured and then kind of out uphill away from my load. I can get more friction by going down towards my load. And as I work into two person loads, I'll start capturing this fifth bar and then this sixth bar like so. And so this would be most friction here that would be most appropriate for two person loads. Less friction, less friction, less friction. One person loads kind of in this range here. This uh, micro brake rack has a tie off very similar to the Scarab. I will encapture all six bars so I'm in full friction. And then again, make a loop here, wrapping over it, crossing over itself and capturing this pin here. I do that once and then I'll do that again with a loop that crosses over itself down on that second, up on this second pin here. That's the tie-off for the micro brick rack.